Hello again, fellow human. Infinite Spiral here, and we're back again in Kerbal Space Program. So last time, we had a series of failures trying to reach a visual survey that was at a low altitude, but we did manage to upgrade our launch pad, so we can use a significantly heavier ship now. So I'm going to go ahead and go design one, and I'll see you on the other side of that. Well, this thing looks ridiculous and very unwieldy. We're going to call it the Gronk. And also, there is no uh, inline reaction. Ah, oh, fuck, we have too many parts. What the hell? Mm. Perhaps. Yeah, let's just do away with one of the science pods. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, Gronk. Oh, staging. Always important. Now we've got three engines running off of one central pillar of fuel. Assuming, of course, that the fuel actually travels through this uh, tricoupler. I'm not entirely certain that it does, but there's only one way to find out, so let's do so once we get this staging fixed. And I've moved the radial parachutes down to the bottom so that this thing will fall into the water nose first, thus preventing this from crashing down from the top and then hitting the water. Because we definitely have water landings in our future. so. I believe we're situated. Let's find out how well this thing functions. Shall we? And it looks like it, uh, it didn't immediately topple over, so that's good. The weird placement of these because of my parts limitation. If I could have three parts, then I would just put, you know, the three of them around it sym uh, symmetrically. But I was limited, so I went with some weirdly placed ones. But... Let's find out how well this thing does. Oh, and we didn't recover our debris either, so that's uh, unfortunate. Ooh, here goes. Oh, struts would be necessary there. Also, SAS. SAS is very good to have from the start instead of stupidly as you've already begun to tilt. This is really, really ugly. We are way too top heavy. And about to get more so. Yeah, this is this is a disaster. <laughs> there is absolutely no fixing this. Nope. 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 <laughs> oh no. Let's just do that. There. Okay. We've recovered. Now let's point this thing towards the sky. I know we're not going to get anywhere effective with it, but we can at least not crash and lose everything. Oh, come on. Pull it up. Come on, these fucking... These engines have thrust vectoring. You should be so much more effective than this. Oh, God. This is bad. We're falling. Oh, I'm trying to pull up. It's not working. This is really, really, really bad. Yes, it certainly is. Holy shit. from this. 
<laughs> Straight down. Kaboom. Lovely. Aboard. <laughs> yeah. Vehicle assembly. I didn't even notice we have these enormous solid fuel boosters. How foolish of me. It is absolutely crucial that I should be using those. has become the Gronkulus. We uh, made some alterations, clearly. Uh, totally removed the support structure, so we'll find out once we get to the launch pad whether or not this thing can even stand on its own. And we made an attempt to move the center of thrust higher up, but in the process we also moved the center of mass further up, too. So, eh... It's not great. I, I wanted to put these a bit lower, like roughly between those to bring both of them in, but uh, if I do that then the thrust from those, these connectors, will be uh, offset from the inner connectors which will then cause e bad things. It causes the bottom to come out more and then fucks everything up, so we'll see if this thing works at all. It might not. It might be just a... just a... I was going to say a nice looking disaster, but it doesn't look that nice either, so <laughs> it'll just be silly. Oh, okay. It's not collapsing under its own weight. That's a good sign. We do have all three parachutes now, so that's great. I got used to being in the, in the hangar where you can go up and down, but that's not possible out here. So, locking SAS now, not failing to do so, so we go off course immediately. And making another attempt at Lars's cluster. Didn't check the staging. I'm a fool. Eh. Well, we can worry about that later. Right now, it'd be pointless to go and fix it without knowing that it actually works anyway, so... Let's find out. Yeah, see, it's, it's already got a problem with those pushing bottoms outward but they do seem to be centered enough that it works thanks to that symmetry button and we're gonna try and correct because we're getting a little off center from the start and the further that goes the harder it is to correct all right that's looking considerably more promising. Definitely these winglets are helping massively in making this thing controllable in atmosphere. Oh, why did I turn that off? Okay. We're getting closer to time for that. And the solids are about to run out. So yeah, it looks like the longevity on those is roughly the same, if a little worse. Or a little better, I mean. Oop, that's the wrong way to turn. Oh, these winglets are fantastic. They are making this so much easier to deal with. Yeah, yeah, that that makes all the difference in the world. Oh wow, might help to have a throttle all the way up. Holy crap. <laughs> Burn through that fuel a lot faster though. Where? Um... No. Hello. Show me the world. Jeez. Alright, so we're looking at... Pretty high already. Yeah, that's way too far over, so we're gonna bring that closer to the target.
out like that. A little further, even. Starting to get the feeling that this targeting uh, reticle, I guess, whatever this clipboard, is not where it's currently at, but where I should be aiming to, to hit it. But then again, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. that I need a little bit of retro burn. We're still doing decent on fuel. That'll bring this in. And that looks good. We'll be entering thicker atmosphere and the, the decay will bring it closer in on its own. Yeah, maybe we'll do a little bit more manually. Looking good. And I think we're going to correct a bit more. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Corrections effective. That's more like it. That should hit right on. We're at 35k and falling. Oh yeah, that's that's looking good. A little further, or a little little past it already. So we're gonna recorrect. out of fuel. No, we still have fuel, but we are in atmosphere, judging by the controls. Yes. <laughs> and there is our target. Oh no, that's our debris. Never mind. Entering the cluster. And we're in the right altitude. Take a crew report right now. Give me that. Got it. Fuck yes. Okay. I am happy with the Gronculus. <laughs> it seems to be working. Beautiful. Okay. I am pleased. I am very pleased. Who would have thought something like the Gronculus would be an effective design? <laughs> Just silly. Well, let us find out how well it splashes down. Because that's sort of an iffy prospect. Okay, I don't know why that happened. Sort of an odd... Why? No? Okay, good. Oh god, because all the fuel is down here. Is that why? I really want this thing to fall into the water nose down. Okay, good. Block SAS, maybe? That's how we want it. It's just how we want it. And if we could slow down more, that would be great. Please? Please slow down more. I think we're gonna hit it roughly nine meters per second, which is too much for the Science Junior to take. Oh no. Here we go. Here comes the explosion. Yup. Oh. Very splody. Okay. Needs more parachutes. That much is certain. <laughs> All right, well, at least we got that report and survived, so we actually get credit for it. Wonderful. We have yet to successfully land that Science Junior lab in the water. It always disappears. Horrible. So let's go ahead and recover our debris. And while I'm doing that, I'll go ahead and let you know I'm going to end this episode right here. So I've been Infinite Spiral. This has been a very interesting attempt at getting just one of these surveys completed. But if you enjoyed what you saw here, go ahead and leave a like. I would appreciate it. It helps me massively. Uh, if you want to continue seeing more of this, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we will see you 
in the next episode. Take care now.